ஜுதான் வசமாஹிஹத்தான் ஸ்கேல்ஸ் way with just justice and do not give short measures he laid out the earth for all beings in it are fruits palm trees with date stalks grains with husks and aromatic plants so which of the favors of your lord you deny sadak allah al azim ladies and gentlemen the clean energy is the need of the day and this seminar aims to bring together academia industry public sector and other stakeholders to pave a path towards the widespread clean energy i now invite mr irfan hai the deputy director programs from the secretariat of concerts to the stage for his introductory remarks sir Assalamu alaikum um his excellency senator sayyid shibli faraz minister for science and technology government pakistan uh, honorable rector concerts university uh, professor dr afzal tabassum secretary general pakistan national commission for unesco mr sayyid junaid akhlaq uh, distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum on behalf of the commission on science and technology for sustainable development in the south concerts i welcome you all to the international seminar on sustainable technologies in modern te- energy a road map towards green economy this event is being organized jointly by concerts unesco and concerts university islamabad as host institution under the framework of concerts unesco south south regional technical cooperation program the primary objective of the seminar is to provide an interdisciplinary forum to academicians the scientists and early career researchers to deliberate upon important topics related to energy efficiency sustainable and renewable energy resources technologies and applications in this regard we are pleased to have over 160 scientists academicians researchers industrial experts and students from pakistan as well as other member countries of concerts and unesco attending both uh, in person and online as a registered participants um targeting sustainable development goal number 7 affordable and clean energy the event will feature 14 talks by experts belonging to pakistan uh, south korea and spain besides many other under four major themes that are emerging green technologies for sustainable energy uh, green icts for sustainable development energy efficiency and energy policy implication for sustainable energy growth and development and conventional and non conventional resources the right balance for energy mix it also includes a panel discussion session on transition towards clean and green energy during which the participating experts belonging to government sectors academia or any organization and industry would discuss key issues related to clean energy and would provide their advices and recommendations for facilitating transition towards sustainable and green economy i would like to thank uh, concerts university for hosting this international seminar and providing valuable input for shaping its technical program i also thank unesco and pakistan national commission for unesco 
uh, PNCU for supporting this activity. We are grateful to the Pakistan Academy of Sciences for providing the premises for holding this event. It is hoped that the seminar will be able to active, achieve its objectives and will facilitate mutually beneficial cooperation in this vital field. I will not take more time of yours and will let you hear from our distinguished guests representing uh, the collaborating organization as well as our honorable chief guest. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Infan Hai. Now I will request Professor Dr. Muhammad Tabassam Mabzal, Director of Comsex University, Islamabad, for his welcome address. Professor Dr. Tabassam Mabzal has surrendered more than 25 years of meritorious services as a teacher, a researcher, and academic leader in institutions of higher education in Pakistan, Canada, and Japan. Sir. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Excellency Center, Sayyid Shibli Faraz, Minister for Science and Technology, Mr. Sayyid Junaid Akhlaq, Secretary General Pakistan National Commission for UNESCO, Professor Ashraf Shalan, Chairperson Concept Coordinating Council, Mr. Irfan Hai, Head International Program Concept Secretariat, Distinguished Guests, respected faculty members, my dear students, members of the media community, ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to welcome you all to this international seminar on sustainable technologies in modern energy, being jointly organized by Comsat Secretariat, UNESCO, and Comsat University Islamabad. I am indeed grateful to the organizers, particularly the Comsat Secretariat for working with the Department of Electrical Engineering at Comsat University Islamabad to assemble this program. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, that none of the developed country progressed without provision of the cost effective energy to their industry, to the manufacturing, to education, to, to name it. Energy is the hub Energy is the main drive for any country to, to progress. And in Pakistan, we have been gone through a, a number of decades through shortage of energy. And we need to uh, ensure that we have those sustainable supplies for us. With the increase in population, as I came from Canada with the only 35 million people, I see Pakistan has a lot of population. We have more than 250 million around. And you know, uh, in particularly in developed countries, or even in Pakistan, in, uh, in, 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 in homes where people have all the amenities, average person uh, utilizes around 30 devices, 30 gadgets, or the equipment every day in your life. If you, if you look around and you start counting, and those old devices, gadgets, and the appliances all dependent on energy and the power. Like we need power to, to energize those devices and other things. How can we ensure that we have a clean uh, energy supplies for our population, for our well being, and for our development? There are two important points I would like to highlight. Uh, with respect to this uh, seminar today. One is that the lithium ion batteries and fuel cell technology, that we need to work on that. In, uh, by 2030, in Europe and even in China and many other countries, uh, dependency on fossil fuels and the uh, gas engine will be all gone. The people are switching towards solar energy, other clean energies, or the renewable energies. Pakistan, alhamdulillah, have a great potential. We have a lot of solar energy available, but we could not uh, uh, control or we could not develop many technologies to harness this uh, huge resource available for us. Fuel cells, solar technology, and sustainable technologies are a huge market in Pakistan and other low-income countries. And we must move swiftly towards capitalize on this gap. 
we need to work on those things. And sir, I would like to suggest that having a strength in electrical engineering, uh, Comsat University should be given the task to launch a fuel cell research institute with the sole objective of spearheading the development of commercial and home batteries and fuel cells under the knowledge economy initiative. Secondly, the current mode of transmission and distribution of power in Pakistan is quite inefficient. Around 20% uh, 20 per, 20 losses have been reported or even in certain instances, it is up to 36%, which is quite high and it's quite inefficient system we need to curtail. Uh, having uh, conservation of energy is also an important, which uh, I think uh, there will be a talk of, of, uh, of the conference because it can also provide us a opportunity that we can save where it is possible to do so. Great technology in the developed countries is, is the talk of the day. Uh, we need to work on that. Smart grids can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 211 million metric tons and uh, much more reliable than a traditional grid. grid. This is what is uh, driving investors to put their money in, in this new technology. The global industry has a value of around $400 billion on this. Sir, we need to join hands of academia, power distribution companies, as well as the relevant ministries to start talk about adoption of this model on pilot scale. I'm sure the discussion session being organized in this international seminar will generate some key recommendations which will be forwarded to your office, inshallah, and that we are able to advance the talk on this highly relevant area with your patron, patron register. In the end, I would like to thank all the experts and speakers who have gathered here today from all around Pakistan to deliberate on various aspects of sustainable energy production, distribution, and consumption. I'm also thankful to UNESCO and Pakistan National Commission for UNESCO for supporting this activity. And I'm particularly grateful to Excellency Shibri Faraz for sparing time to patronize academic talk on the issue of science and technology that are so important for Pakistan. I wish you all a fruitful seminar and look forward to reading about concrete recommendations that will emerge here. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Thank you so much, sir, for your kind remarks. Now I would like to invite Mr. Sayyid Junaid Ehlak, the Secretary General of Pakistan National Commission for UNESCO for his kind remarks. Mr. Ehlak is also the Joint Secretary in Ministry of Education and a very seasoned uh, administrator. Sir, please. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Honorable Senator Shibli Farasa, Federal Minister for Science and Technology, Professor Dr. Ashraf Shalan Saab, Chairperson Comsets Coordinating Council, Professor Dr. Mohammad Abdul Saab, Director Comset University Islamabad, Mr. Irfan Hai Saab, uh, Pro uh, Director Programs Comset Islamabad, uh, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and a very good morning. Uh, it is a great privilege and honor for me to be part of this August gathering. Uh, on behalf of Pakistan National Commission for UNESCO, I warmly uh, congratulate the Commission on Science and Technology for Sustainable, for Sustainable Development in the South and Comset University Islamabad for holding this international seminar on sustainable technologies in the modern energy, a roadmap towards green economy. Under the ComSat UNESCO South South Regional Technical Cooperation Program, UNESCO has provided support to this important event. I thank all the eminent scientists and researchers and private sector representatives who are here for taking part in this important event. Uh, the event's theme highlights the urgent need for developing new and improving the existing technology uh, related to energy to address the environmental issues and promote inclusive green development. 
ladies and gentlemen uh, with each passing day the global energy demand is rising to meet the requirement of industry transportation sector and our daily lives this energy demand it's this energy demand is expected to soar by 40 44% over the next two decades fossil fuels have long been the most dominant source of energy leading to serious environmental issues related to global warming and climate change therefore renewable energy resources such as solar bioenergy wind hydro and geothermal must be developed and used to enable the transition to a sustainable and green economy the advancement of sustainable innovative technologies in modern energy will improve energy security environment economy mechanical and manufacturing construction transportation and industry as well as the as well as contribute to the creation of new jobs however in order to attain desirable and most more sustainable alternatives we must address a range of impediments including economic market and legal barriers as well as social and cultural tendencies that must be avoided energy diversity and efficiency supply reliability public trust market sensitivity interventions market based climate change responses cost reflective prices technological innovations and development and regional energy system integration are the areas in which significant progress is required to achieve sustainable and clean energy i hope uh, the delegates who are participating in this event will look into these areas i once again thank uh, the comsat university and comsats for joining hands with unesco and pncu for organizing this very important international seminar i thank the organizers for making excellent arrangements for holding this event pncu will continue to facilitate mutually beneficial cooperation that has been in place between unesco and comsat since long particularly for the capacity building of common member countries thank you very much thank you sir uh now let's hear the online remarks of professor Don, uh, of professor dr ashraf shalan the chairperson of coordinating councils of comsats who is a renowned scientist from egypt and has served as a president of national research center a very renowned research center of egypt so Gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of the Commission on Science and Technology for Sustainable Development in the South, COMSATS, I am delighted to welcome all the eminent scientists and technologists, researchers, industrials, and students who have joined the international seminar titled Sustainable Technology in Modern Energy, a Roadmap Towards Green Economy both in person and online. I extend my warm welcome to the Comsats University Islamabad, Pakistan for hosting this event and to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, for supporting this activity under the framework of Comsats UNESCO South-South Regional Technical Cooperation Program. The event has been designed to be a networking platform for South-South and triangular cooperation for facilitating transition towards sustainable and green economy. Ladies and gentlemen, the numerous changes taking place in our societies, environmental, social, economic, technological, and geopolitical fields have resulted in various challenges as well as unique opportunities for human development. Natural resources depletion, rising levels of, of pollution, global warming, and an ever increasing human population are few of the challenges currently facing our planet. Hence, 
the need for ensuring sustainable supply of energy and controlling greenhouse gas emissions is becoming a huge concern. This is an urgent need to replace unsustainable use of conventional energy resources with sustainable use of renewable energies, such as bioenergy, hydropower, onshore and offshore wind, solar PV, geothermal and ocean technologies. The world today is fully aware of benefits of renew renewable energy deployment. Renewable energy sources, which currently accounts for 26 of the worldwide electricity, are predicted to account for 30% by 2024, according to the International Energy Agency, whereas the global renewable energy industry is expected to reach 1977.6 billion dollars by 2030 up from 881.7 billion dollars in 2020 according to a report published by allied market research ladies and gentlemen we are on the verge of the fourth industrial revolution however we must remember that industrial revolutions have always come to a cost to our planet. The supportive role of governments, corporations and corporations and the citizens will be virtual to the success of the fourth industrial revolution in transforming our society into a contemporary and smart society propelled by modern technology, skills, innovation, and responsive policies. In this context, the United Nations have also recognized the importance of sustainable technologies in achieving the sustainable development goals. However, SDG targets related to reducing carbon dioxide emissions and preserving biodiversity are still falling behind. To address current sustainability ch challenges and promote inclusive green development, we must work together to build environmentally friendly development strategies at the national and the regional levels. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's high competitive environment, a nation's ability to keep up with technological progress and continuously innovate is critical for its social and economic growth. In this regard, South, South and triangular cooperation in science and technology being facilitated by international organizations such as COMSATS can play an essential role in helping socioeconomic development. COMSATS as an intergovernmental organization of 27 developing countries has been promoting South, South and triangular cooperation in science and technology through a variety of innovative uh, related to uh, uh, initiatives to capacity building, collaborative research and development, and exchange of knowledge, experiences, good practices, and technological resources among the member countries. The scientific and technological strength of COMSATS is derived from its network of international science and technology centers of excellence which currently consisted uh, to 24 reputable centers and universities, including Comsat's University Islamabad, which has been a valuable resource for the commission in executing various capacity building activities in Pakistan and other member countries. Comsat is privileged to have excellent working relations with various like-minded institutions, including UNESCO, and is cooperating with them to achieve its noble objectives. At the end, I once again thank uh, CUI and UNESCO for collaborating with COMSATS to organize this international seminar. The facilitative role played by the Pakistan National Commission of UNESCO is holding, uh, in holding this activity 
is also highly appreciated. I hope that the seminar will be able to achieve its objectives and will serve as a forum for knowledge sharing and cooperation for addressing the rising global challenges and unsustainable economic growth. I wish you all a pleasant and fruitful event. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, sir. Uh, respected guests and participants, I feel honored now to invite the chief guest, Honorable Senator Shibli Faraz, the Federal Minister of Science and Technology. In addition to his current role, Honor Honorable Shibli Faraz has served at various senior legislative uh, positions. Sir, you may be. Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Professor Dr. Abzal Rector, Comsets University, Islamabad, Mr. Sayyid Junaid Akhlaq, Secretary General, Pakistan National Commission for UNESCO, Professor Ashraf Shalan, Chairperson, Comsets Coordinating Council, Mr. Irfan Hai, Comsets Secretariat, Distinguished Guests, Respected Faculty Members, my dear students, <laughs> members of the media community, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Pakistan's energy needs are potentially huge in order to cater to the fifth largest population in the world. But interestingly, according to a survey by Cable UK, the cost of electricity per kilowatt hour is lower in Pakistan than China and India if you compare within the region. Despite the fact that we have been a net energy importer and in the past, we have confronted serious energy shortages as its economy and population grow while global fossil fuel prices continue their upward spiral. Thus, Pakistan needs to initiate a sustained long-term transition towards greater use of renewable energy. An indigenous, clean, and abundant resource whose considerable potential the country has yet to tap meaningfully. The government of Pakistan intends to pursue this objective of harnessing power from renewable resources with the full participation and collaboration of the private <laughs> sector. Moreover, we need to address the question of growing consumption by deploying smart technologies, efficient grids, to address issues of the demand side. I'm encouraged that our academia has taken upon itself to participate in this national debate. The guiding principles of the present government in devising the energy policy has been enhancing efficiency, transparency, competition, financial viability, massive indigenization, and most importantly, promoting responsibility for the environment. In view of the electricity demand patterns and lack of funds in the public sector, the government has decided to mobilize private sector resources by inducting it into power generation. As I have said before, most countries where the resources available for science and research are scant, it becomes all the more important to set the priorities right and conserve resources by jointly working on common <laughs> challenges. I'm very pleased to see here today that CUI, which is a leading university of the Ministry of Science and Technology, is hosting this important seminar. The Commission on Science and Technology for Sustainable Development in South was originally given the mandate in 1994 to sensitize the governments in developing countries to seize opportunities that have an impact on socio-economic well-being of member countries and build bridges between these governments. I'm satisfied to note that both these institutions have contributed <laughs> remarkably towards achieving their mandates. The government of Pakistan is committed to the utilization of indigenous and environmentally clean energy generation resources. In this regard, the promotion of alternative and renewable technologies is 
amongst the top priorities of Prime Minister Imran Khan's government. In this regard, I would like to encourage proposals from CUI. I congratulate the partnering organizations, UNESCO, through Pakistan National Commission, Comsat's Secretariat, and Comsat's University Islamabad for holding this seminar and look forward to policy recommendations that can be taken to relevant forums for improving Pakistan's energy production and consumption matrices. I bid the participants, engineers, and experts a fruitful seminar. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for spending your time and sharing your uh, valuable thoughts with us. Now I will request the rector of Concerts University to please present the souvenir to the chief guest, sir. This one exercise that we did in the last six months, what you could use each time which I see come from the school age, and the <laughs> that just by tinkering the technology used and putting a little bit of attention, not a big deal, we have calculated that just in these bands, we will be saving about 3,400 megawatts which is not a small number. It is like having saving 20 versa dams and you know one huge if you want to put a plant of 3,400 megawatts it will cost you roughly 4, 4.5 million dollars. What I'm saying is that we have to wake up. We have to start observing these small things. Be it the fans, be it the water motors, be it the it, as, as the director rightly said we only have about 30 license um, uh, that we use on a daily basis. So we have to see, we have to, this, this has to create a kind of curiosity in you, especially the youngsters, that how to make these efficient. How can we save? Because you know, when you have scant resources, then you know you need to work on the fact that how to save, how to make things efficient. That is a big challenge. And I think it is something that you can actually address this. Be curious, especially the young students. I would request you that, you know, curiosity is what makes the difference. I was sitting in, uh, in Peshawar University, Engineering University, about six months ago, and I was looking at the fans, and I, they were like when I was born. I was born in Peshawar University. So they are of that time. So we have to make things efficient because we want to save. Make, not only saving, but making efficient. You know, Japan, in the last 15 years have, has not added a single megawatt in their grid. They have been working on efficiency. We have been working like, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, when the world is moving so uh, fast, we are thinking of changing the fan technology. Geysers, the gas site, we are working on it. We have worked on it. We have already calculated how much MMCFD we are going to save, how much benefit is going to bring to the public, as well as to the national exchequer, because energy is becoming a very, very expensive uh, um, uh, resource. So we have to, I would request you to kindly, you know, work on this, work on batteries, how to conserve and how to, you know, uh, save energy for the solar panels and batteries. Uh, one of our Pakistani has done extremely well in the, at the international level. 
And um, I think these are the areas where you should be focusing on. This is where the future is. So thank you very much and wish you best of luck. Thank you, sir. The Honorable Chief Guest, speakers and organizers are requested to join for the group photo outside the, outside the building. And the other participants may proceed for the refreshment. We will be back at 11 a.m. sharp for the technical session. Thank you.